Hello, welcome to Kid Talk. I'm Judy Ricks, one of the kid team leaders here at Lakeview Church, and I'm thrilled to be with you today. Easter is almost here, and this morning I can't wait to share with you more of the Easter story, the most important story in the Bible. Are you ready to get started? Well, oh, we I almost forgot. We have a special word for this lesson and it's called trust and today's bottom line we can trust God even when we're scared I have a question for you have you ever been scared oh I know I have sometimes I'm scared of the dark and sometimes I'm scared of big spiders or long scary snakes well today we're going to see how of being scared got the best of one of Jesus' closest friends. Jesus had told his disciples that all of them would be scared and they would all run and hide when he had been arrested. But Peter, one of Jesus' closest friends, said, Jesus, the others may run and hide, but I will never leave you. Then Jesus told Peter, before the rooster caught uh, crows twice, you will deny me three times. Our scriptures today are found in Mark 14, 66 through 72. Now after Jesus had been arrested, Peter was in the courtyard and one of the servant girls of the high priest came and saw Peter and looked at him and she said, you also were with Jesus. And Peter said, I neither know nor understand what you mean. Then he went out into the gateway and the rooster crowed. The servant girl saw Peter again and she said to the people standing around, This man is one of them. But again, Peter denied knowing Jesus. And after a while, the bystanders said to Peter, Certainly you are one of him, for you are a Galilean. Now Peter was scared and he began to swear saying, I do not know this man whom you are speaking. And after he had said this, immediately the rooster crowed a second time. Peter remembered then what Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me and say you don't know me three times. Peter thought, he broke down and he wept. <clears throat> you Can you all just imagine how it must have been to be Peter whenever he heard that rooster crow? Peter loved Jesus, and he watched Jesus perform all of his miracles. But seeing him standing there in chains, being sentenced to death, that was when Peter got scared. Peter denied Jesus because he thought he would be killed also. You know, as sad as the story of Peter denying Jesus is, it wasn't the end. Peter was the, one of the first people to go see the empty tomb on Easter morning. He was forgiven by Jesus for denying him, and Peter was a changed man, and he became a leader in the new church. When Jesus met Peter, he called him the rock, saying, On this rock, he will build a new church. Peter didn't act like the rock the night he denied Jesus, but in the end, Peter found the faith to overcome his fears and to become all Jesus said he would be. God doesn't want us to be afraid. He wants us to stand up for Jesus, and he wants us to place our trust and our faith in him so that we can have the courage to say, yes, I am a Christian, and I will stand up for the one who uh, became my Savior. Hey, kids, let's stand up for him. Let's not be afraid, and let's share the good news of Jesus with someone that we know today. Thank you for joining Kid Talk. I miss you, and I can't wait to see you again. Uh, we'll be net back next week, so meanwhile... Stay safe, stay well, and have a very happy Easter. Hey kids, 
I have another craft today. I made a rock, a painted rock. You know, our story today talks about Jesus calling Peter the rock. And it made me think, you know what? We can paint a rock. We can paint it maybe with a cross. Mine is a cross that reminds me of Jesus dying on the cross to save me from my sins. And I put some pretty little flowers down here. Aren't they beautiful? Just like the beautiful Easter story. Well, I went outside, I looked around, and you go outside and look around and, and uh, find, you could have a large rock, a small rock, a little uh, thin rock, a big thick rock. You can have anything you want to. Bring it in the house. I washed mine in the sink. And then I found these old uh, finger paints that I had stuck away in my closet. You could use paints or uh, markers or crayons or, you know, you could just color a picture and cut it out and glue it on your rock. But place your rock somewhere where when you see it or when someone else sees it, they'll, they can also think of the, Christmas, of the Easter story. The, uh, it's a wonderful way, way to tell people about Jesus. They'll say, oh, what a pretty rock you have. And you can say, this reminds me of the Easter story, how Jesus died on the cross to save us from our sins. I hope you ha enjoyed the craft for today. And hey, a lot of kids have posted their uh, countdown to Easter uh, love chain that they made. And it they were so great. Thank y'all for posting those. I'd love to see some pictures of your rocks. But until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks for tuning in to Kid Talk. Thank you.